And since there's no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. But it doesn't show signs of stopping, then I got some corn for popping. The, the lights have burned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I hate to and out in the storm. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. Though well, the fire is slowly dying, but my dear, we're still goodbying. Cause as long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. snow. Woohoo! Thank you, good night. Thank you, BGS Family Chorus. Don't worry, folks, they're not going anywhere. They'll be here for another couple of songs. I'd like to take this opportunity to invite Governor Scott to the podium to say a few words. Governor. Good evening. Well, it's great to see all of you here tonight, all the, uh, all the kids, all the dogs as well, always uh, add to the excitement. Uh, I also want to welcome, we have many dignitaries here, a lot of our secretaries and commissioners, part of my cabinet here, as well as the lieutenant governor is here tonight as well. Thank you very much, David, for coming. So I always look forward to this time of year in the tree lighting as we kick off the holiday season. This tree is really a wonderful example of the generosity and dedication of a couple of our state employees. First, I'd like to thank Ira Moser. Ira has served as our State House uh, Ground Supervisor for almost 20 years, and he has a responsibility for finding us a tree that is suitable for this beautiful State House. So while uh, Ira was driving in, uh, in Callis on his way home uh, to and from work, he saw this perfect tree next to a home every day. So he decided to talk with the owner, Nancy Hill, uh, now, Nancy has been a uh, state employee for 30 years. So a couple months ago, Ira spotted Nancy walking across the state house lawn and jumped off his mower and asked her if she'd be willing to donate the tree to the state house. Now, Nancy thought it over and called Ira the next day to tell him she'd be honored to do so. So I personally want to thank both Ira and Nancy for getting us this beautiful tree and your contribution to tonight's ceremony. Thank you very much. I'd also uh, like to take the time to recognize Dave and Cheryl Warner uh, of Warner uh, Tree Farm. You have a beautiful farm providing many Vermonters with great quality trees. In fact, they were, uh, they were so good that I know, like, not only cut down two for the pavilion office, uh, in my uh, both my fifth floor office and the uh, in the lobby, but I cut down the perfect one for my own home as well. I uh, and again I want to thank uh, the BGS uh, chorus for performing uh, for us tonight. I know you have a big, huge schedule, and to fit us in has been uh, truly, truly special uh, for all of us. You know, as we uh, as we light the tree uh, this year, it's a perfect time. And take a moment and reflect on how fortunate we are to live in this great state and all the good things that are happening around us. And while it may not always feel like it, there's always so much more that unites us as Vermonters than divides us. I believe the things we have in common as mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, daughters and sons, friends and neighbors are what inspires us to do good. Vermonters are known for our deep sense of community and our commitment to the most vulnerable. We help each other out. We go the extra mile in times of need. We believe in each other and the value of each and every person. For example, I want to recognize the Ludlow Fire Department. Now, on Thanksgiving morning, they answered a call for an oven fire which thankfully smothered itself out before any real damage was done. But remember, this was Thanksgiving Day. 
So once the uh, responders arrived on the scene, they unplugged the stove and informed the mother of three she couldn't use it again until it was inspected. But instead of moving on, the responders decided to take things into their own hands and go the extra mile and help this fellow Vermonter in her time of need. They ended up taking all the food back to their station. They cooked it all up for her and delivered it back in time for dinner. This is just one example of the sense of community Vermonters share and in part of what makes our state so special. So while we kick off the holiday season tonight, let's all commit to doing good, focusing on what unites us instead of what divides us and be part of something bigger than ourselves. Let's remember the golden rule, do unto others as they would do unto you. In other words, treat each other the way you want to be treated, with respect and civility. So again, I thank you very much for being here tonight, and I hope you enjoy this wonderful holiday season. Thank you. Thank you for those inspiring words, Governor. At this time, uh, we are going to hand out some certificates of appreciation. The first certificate of appreciation and recognition is to Nancy Hill. Nancy is a state employee, the governor mentioned in his remarks. And this certificate of recognition is for her generous contribution to the 2019 Governor's Tree Lighting Ceremony. Thank you on behalf of the state of Vermont. Our second certificate of appreciation goes to Ira Moser. This certificate recognizes Ira Moser for his generous contribution, his agility to jump off a lawnmower <laughs> to the 2019 Governor's Tree Lighting Ceremony. Thank you on behalf of the state of Vermont. And our last is to uh, Werner's Tree Farm. And these were the farms the governor mentioned in his remarks uh, that don't for his office. And accepting on behalf of Werner Tree Farm, who could not make it because it is their busy time of season. <laughs> Allison Eastman, Deputy Commissioner for Agriculture. <laughs> I'd like to now at this time invite the BGS family singers to entertain us with another song. Take it away. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donder and Blitzen, but do you Everybody join in. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows like a light bulb.
At this time, I would like to invite Governor Scott, Nancy Hill, and any children that would like to participate in the lighting of the tree. Governor, you want a countdown? At this time, I am going to ask the BGS family singers to, to entertain us with one final song. Take it away, BGS family singers. Thank you very much, BGS family singers, and good luck on your next European tour. At this time, I would like to invite the children over to the pavilion building, which is that large building right there in the corner. And if you walk up the front steps, everyone is invited. Walk up the front steps, there are cookies and hot cider inside uh, the room, and the governor is going to be reading a Christmas story to the children. So if you would make your way over there at this time, the festivities will continue.